It was July of 2020 when it all went down. I was young, free, and reckless. Games didn't just disappear, they told me for what seemed like the 50th time as I played yet another piggy clone. How wrong they were. It went without a whimper, no sound to be heard. Rumors started to fly. Puppet is gone, they said. Nobody listened. Only one man was willing to take up the case, and you're looking right at him. It's time to investigate the mysterious disappearance of Roblox Puppet. Does anybody here remember Roblox Puppet? Remember that game thousands of YouTubers played? Just look it up right now. Flamingo, Think Noodles, one of the most successful piggy ripoff clones to hit the market. It was on par with Spider and Kitty. Despite its flaws seeming so similar, it was so different. People loved the game for its unique gameplay style and very strange and odd looks and sounds. The game got up to chapter five and had 140 0.7 million visits, 528,934 favorites, and absolutely zero playing. I hadn't heard of Puppet in ages. I was curious as to how many people were playing it. And so I went to see and there was zero out of 140.7 million visits. And then this caught my eye. Sorry, this place is currently under review. Try again later. What happened to Puppet? I have a few ideas of what could have happened and we're gonna get to the bottom of this. Make sure you like and subscribe and strap yourself in for a wild ride. So if you hop on over to the Puppet Discord, the hate HD Games Discord here, you'll see only a single announcement about the current status of Puppet posted on the 9th of July. That's about five days ago. It's from one of the developers, Eric the President. Puppet is currently down for some time. We will keep you updated on the status of the game. This sent the Discord into shambles. There was a constant stream of people joining the Discord and asking, where is Puppet? But the developers haven't said anything and believe me, I've looked. None of them have been talking in the general chat of the Discord. The only indicator we've got is from the moderators of the Discord. But this is where we get our biggest shock yet. Hero Ravensong says, no clue when it will be back up. Even the developers have no clue. Maybe they just don't know how long it'll take to fix the problems with the game. But I don't think that's it because Blue Moon, another Discord moderator in the server, has stated nobody knows why Roblox Roblox has shut down Puppet. These rumors are just rumors that people decided to make. Only Roblox and the developers are the only people to know why the game has been shut down. But the developers don't know when it will be back up. That tells us that there's something bigger going on. Not just something small that can be fixed with a quick update. The root of this issue is hidden deep within the game itself. So let's have a look at some other notable places that were put under review in the past. A quick mosey down to Roblox fandom's Wikipedia page on the under review status, and you'll be able to see that a lot of popular games have been put under review. Uh, the admin starting place, Call of Robloxia, uh, Vehicle Simulator, uh, Boys and Girls Hangout. Oh, I wonder how that happened. Ooh. Pokemon Brick Bronze, which is now permanently gone. That was a massive copyright issue. And a few more, including Work at a Pizza Place. I do not see where they would have broken the terms and service. Did they have some like underground online daters club or something going on? But not even Roblox is safe from being put under review. Even their own game, Welcome to Roblox Building, was put under review. And that was created by Roblox themselves. It really makes you wonder, doesn't it? So why are places put under review on Roblox? Well, as the Wikipedia says, a place is typically put under review by moderators if it is found to be in violation of the terms of service. Now, I hope you've been reading Roblox's terms of service, all 100 pages of it, otherwise you're in big trouble. But basically, there's a whole bunch of reasons as to why Roblox can just randomly take out your game and put it under review. So basically no one's safe, but they only use this in the most extreme cases. So let's look at some of the most extreme cases as to why Roblox would have shut down Puppet. Number one, inappropriate features. Inappropriate features could involve not safe for work stuff, uh, like really bad racist stuff or just, just bad things in general in the game. This could also involve swear words. Now, the only way I can see Puppet breaching this rule specifically is if one of those kill sound effects, remember how you can get like the meme sound effects and all that when you kill people in Puppet? Well, if those had bad words in it, if they had anything offensive in them, 
them, I could see that being a reason why Roblox Puppet would be shut down. But I don't think that's enough to warrant the game going under review. The developers are smart. They know what they're doing. And I'm sure Roblox would at least give a warning. Or I hope to think so. I think we can scratch that one off the list. Another big one, not having a text filter. Last time I checked, Puppet does have a text filter. And trust me, I tried. I was typing in the worst of profanities into the text chat to try and work out which words I could get through on Puppet. And oh boy, my account got banned. Permanently. No, I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that. Maybe in Club Penguin. Another and the most common reason is that the game could be a scam, but this is almost certainly not the case. Scams are usually like the free Robux stuff, free Adopt Me pets that thousands of people actually go to and buy and then put in their account details into the game. I'm looking at you, Charlotte Angel. Having stolen content. So stealing content from other games, stealing content from models. Now, where would they steal this content from? That's right, Roblox Piggy. So I'm gonna be honest here, the only thing I can really see them stealing from Piggy, besides the uh, pretty obvious looking title there, that baseball bat looks awfully familiar, although I, I really don't think that's it. Uh, honestly, I can't really see Puppet stealing anything from Piggy. This is like specifically stealing things, not stealing the idea that's coming up later but specifically stealing models i don't see any stolen models in puppet being a stolen copy of an existing place well puppet didn't exactly exist before unless they got the entirety of piggy's game and then use that and just like edited a few things i can't see that being the reason puppet looks completely different that leaves us with one more reason and i think this is the devastating singular reason why puppet has been shut down everybody it once again comes down to copyright as much much as Puppet tries to be original, we all know it's one of the closest games to breaching copyright out there. Like take for instance its models, it's based off Elmo, and I'm not sure if those models are too close to the real thing. I think they might be, just look at the uh, girl one, I forgot what the pixie's name is, and Oscar the Grouch. They may look a bit too similar to Sesame Street. Unlike with Piggy, Piggy looks entirely different to Peppa Pig, these ones still retain very similar faces, especially the forest puppet. But let's say the models aren't in breach of copyright. What about about the music. What about the sound effects? Those are blatant ripoffs of copyrighted songs. Piggy uses songs that are licensed from a website. Piggy has the right to use those songs. And I highly doubt Puppet got the rights to some of those MLG songs that they had. I'm pretty sure they had the MLG violin song. That's a fully copyrighted song that they technically could get shut down for using. But lots of Roblox games use that, so I doubt that's it. But it could have been any of those songs. Now I need to try and remember what was in the shop. But Maybe Crab Rave. I think they might have had Crab Rave. Maybe the X-Files theme song. Maybe Elmo's World. The, just the background music that they had for the characters. All of this could be copyrighted. They didn't make the music. They didn't get a license for it. And if Roblox were to get sued by one of the creators, they would be in big trouble. And I just realized not only that, Puppet also has blatant pictures of actual Elmo scattered around all the maps. Remember when Piggy had actual pictures of Peppa Pig in the family? But Minitoon had to remove it for copyright reasons, exactly that reason. But Puppet didn't remove them. Puppet still had the Elmo images plastered around the maps. And that's where I think they went wrong. It may not specifically be the images, but it could be the models. It could be the music. It could be the sound effects. Maybe it was a combination of too many copyright things that caused Roblox to shut down the game. And this is why Puppet's core gameplay element is in big trouble. They might have to scrap the models and redo them with something else. They might have to scrap the music, redo that. They might have to scrap the sound effects, redo that. And the images around the maps. If this is true, Puppet is in big trouble and we won't be seeing it for a long time. So what happens next? Usually the developers fix it and then they contact Roblox Appeals to get it reopened. But if they don't end up fixing Puppet, then it looks like the developers themselves could receive moderation action from Roblox. This could have their account suspended itself. I doubt Roblox would go that far, but it is entirely possible. And I wish the best of luck to the developers. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching. What are your thoughts on why Puppet got shut down? What are your theories? I'd love to know down below. Be sure to like and subscribe. Check out the 100K merch and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hey!